Hey there, welcome to Rise Up Namobia. Thank you for joining me for part one of the topic of matrices. Now down below, we have objectives, the lesson, and extra examples. Now without further ado, let's dive into the objectives. So for this particular tutorial, we'll be looking at what matrices are, the order of matrices, and some types of matrices. Okay? Now that we are done with the objectives, let's take a look at the lesson. So get your pens and your notebooks ready. What is a matrix? A matrix is a rectangular array of numbers. Now if you don't understand this definition, don't worry, we will get into examples that will enlighten your understanding. For example, matrix A over here. Now whenever we are naming a matrix, we use a capital letter. Hence, the matrix A is named with a capital letter A. Okay? Now, inside a matrix we have, for example, this one, 1, 3, 2, 4. Now, these numbers are what we call elements or entries. Now, they are not always numbers. They can be letters or sometimes even expressions, which we will be looking at at a later stage. Okay? So how do we find the order of a matrix? To answer this, we'll be looking at this question. What is the order of matrix A? Now before we can answer that, I would like to point out that each and every matrix have what we call rows and columns. Okay? So with that said, let's write R multiplied by C. So the R represents the rows, the C represents the columns. So the question at hand is, to find the order, how many rows does matrix A have and how many columns does it have? So let's check it out. Let's start with the rows. Now the rows are always the horizontal ones. So we start 1, 2. So we have Two rows. Remember, the horizontal ones are the rows. So we have two rows. Multiplied by, how many columns does this matrix have? The columns are always the vertical ones. So let's count. One, two. So matrix A over here has two columns. So which means this matrix is what we call a two by two matrix okay now another thing that i would like to point out is that whenever you see that a matrix has the same number of rows and columns that matrix is called a square matrix it doesn't matter if it's a one by one a two by two a three by three a four by four as long as the number of rows and columns are the same it's called a square matrix okay let's take a look at another example Now matrix B over here. If you are to find the order, what would that be? So let's bring out our R multiplied by C. And then we ask ourselves, how many rows and columns does this matrix have? So let's start with the rows. It has 1. So it only has 1 row. So we write that 1 down multiplied by how many columns does it have? Now the columns are always the vertical ones. So let's count. 1, 2, 3. So it has 3 columns. So it's a 1 by 3 matrix. Now if it's a 1 by 3 matrix, one thing that I would like to point out is that whenever you see that a matrix has 1 row, that matrix is called a row matrix. Okay? Let's take a look at another example. We have matrix D over here. So let's find the order. How many rows does it have? 1, 2. So we write down the 2. How many columns does it have? It only has one column. Now, remember from matrix B over here, we say that whenever a matrix has one row, it's called a row matrix. Now, what about if a matrix has 
one column. What do you think it's called? It's called a column matrix. Okay? So this is a 2 by 1 matrix, which is a column matrix. Why is it a column matrix? Because it only has one column. Okay? Let's take a look at another example. How about matrix F over here? First, let's find the order. How many rows does it have? One, two. So we write down the two. Multiplied by, how many columns does it have? One, two, three. So we write down the three. So this is a two by three matrix. Okay? But notice that all the all the elements within this matrix are all zero. Now, whenever all the elements or entries are all zero, we call such a matrix a zero matrix. Okay? It doesn't matter what order it is. It can be a 3 by, th uh, three, by 3 or even 1 by 4, as long as all the elements are zero. It means that is a zero matrix, okay? Irregardless of the order. Let's take a look at another example. How about this example over here? First, let's take a look at the order of this matrix. So, how many rows does it have? It has one, two, three. So, we write down the three multiplied by how many columns? One, two, three. So it's basically a three by three matrix. Okay? But now, one thing I want you to notice is that it's a three by three and it has ones on its main diagonal, which means like there's like a skew line of ones going on the side. And then and every other entry is a zero beside the ones on the main diagonal. Now, such a matrix is what we call an identity matrix. Now, for any matrix to be an identity matrix, there is two main properties that it needs to have. Number one, it should be a square matrix. For example, this one is a three by three. Okay. And then number two, it should be having ones on its main diagonal, which means there should be like a skew line of ones, and then the rest of the entries should be zeros. Okay? So for example, this one is an identity matrix or unit matrix. Okay? Now that we are done with the lesson, let's take a look at some extra examples, which will include the order of matrices, and the type of matrices that you have learned within this tutorial. So, here is the question. Determine the order or size of each of the, of the following matrices below and if possible, name the type of matrix you have learned. So, what you do is for each and every question here or number, you find the order of the matrix then, if it's possible, name what type of matrix it is. Okay? So feel free to pause the video now. The answers will be in a PDF which will be downloadable. Okay? Thank you for joining us for this tutorial. Please do support our other social media platforms on Facebook and YouTube at Rise Up Namibia. Cheers.